What is up, Humanoid Nation? Now that the depression has gone away from yesterday, watching that horrible shit, like I said, I will not do any one of those videos again where, like, you hear 911 calls, real 911 calls, every other thing I'll do. Except for that. I won't go through that again, just to let you know. Anyways, let's do to something like 15 dumbest criminals ever. Get our laugh on. Let's start this shit. Danger Dolan from criminals that send their victims a Facebook request to guys that forge money in the shape of a million dollar bill. We kept 15 of the lamest criminals ever. What the fuck is he? Is that a guy wearing a cow costume? The 15. A guy casually walking down the street finds a bike chained to a tree. Now you'd imagine How? if he wanted to steal the bike, that he would just How do you cut chain a chain bike? with cable what? cutters, right? When? Why? No, I want to know the story of this. The street, this guy takes out his axe and decides to cut down the tree in front of dozens of people. He is a man. He was Some people pushing him around. Such a man, man. man. He's the tree man. fell. The people chased him away, but still. Stephen Regal theme song from the WWE. Number 14. An Irish author called Christian Bala, who brutally murdered another person in the year 2000. He was never caught, and he kept writing his novels. Three years after the murder, he wrote a book called Amok, in which he describes a very similar murder to the one he actually committed. It was like the Nick the reader Monica took the police. They discovered the several dead. links to the real case. Christian was caught out and sentenced 25 years simply because he couldn't keep a very basic secret. But at least his book sales skyrocketed. An 18 year old robber in Chicago tried to rob this muffler shop, but when he busted in armed to the teeth demanding money, he heard something no robber ever wants to hear. The money was in the safe and the only person who could get into the safe was the manager who wasn't there. He was out having coffee. Cutting his losses, this guy does the unthinkable thing. He writes down his phone number, hands it to the employees, and tells them to ring him back when they have the money. The you instant he dumb out of the door, fuck! The employees called the police. They what rang else did you think was happening? Had him walk hey, straight I'll give back into the shop. Here you go. Call me back in the manager's bag. Do 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 do. Number twelve. This one criminal called Christopher Cron was so terrible at his Nick profession Nolte? that he actually made an instructional video on how not to commit burglary. He cites this one time he broke into a store. The alarm tripped, but he didn't leave, even though it was blurring in his ears. The security company rang the store's phone only for Cron to pick it up and supply them with really? his real name. Even after all this, all he stole was a couple of beer bottles, to which he returned to the store a day later and was recognized by everyone that worked there. He was arrested on the spot. Number 11. A thief that stole this woman's purse was in such a rush that he left behind two bags, both of which contained critical information for the case. For some reason, he had been carrying around his own birth certificate and Who the hell carries around her own birth own certificate? Mother. Why would you Bottom need that in an everyday if you situation? To steal belongings, why wouldn't you leave your goddamn birth certificate at home or and here's a thought, not carry bags full of ID and then forget How many you, IDs have you have. Every goddamn one of your everyone who tried to rob a convenience store in Ontario by calling the person that worked there to ask them how much money they had in the cash register. The incident Hi, ended, I'm the employee rob you got place. the police down how there much money when they you found have? Daniel oh, stalking that's the bike. Awesome. I'll be there in five. It. Amazingly, Daniel had already tried this tactic several times before, ringing ahead to make sure the store had money ready for him to collect. Number nine. A Swedish man browsing a certain dating website was annoyed that the 13 year old girl he'd been attempting to sleep with did not turn up at their date. So cast your predator. He a hundred dollars as an advance. You payment. know but why you're she here. To ignore him. He tried to get himself. That's judged. not what you said in your conversation. By ringing her father to demand she provide a refund because she wouldn't sleep with him. Suffice you wanted say, a refund. The Swedish man did not get a refund. Uh. Suffice to say, his plan would backfire. Very, very hard. I did not just hear that. This one criminal took this woman's cell phone and almost got away with it, except when later on he decided to send Don't. her a Facebook friend request. What? She immediately the fuck? recognized him from his 500 plus photos and got his name, Juan Gonzalez Jr. He was arrested I stole your phone, and charged babe. Can I add you because you're goddamn hot? Felony theft. But most of all, he was charged with being a gigantic 
Idiot. <laughs> a criminal called Darren Kimpton tried to break into a house. Then he cut himself on some glass and in doing so left blood at the crime scene. DNA! Later that day he tried to break into another place only to accidentally find himself in a house filled with police officers. <laughs> Cops were there investigating an unrelated burglary when they caught Darren attempting to force his way into the house. When he realized how, how screwed he, he was, house he tried to cops. make a run for it, but they quickly subdued him. Number six. An old Probably woman number who, six. like all of us, turned to the police in her time of crisis, but her issue was a bit dodgy. She walked up to a police officer and asked for help in getting money back because the cocaine she had bought turned out to be low quality. <laughs> She even showed the oh, officer no, the cocaine no, and then immediately no. found herself under arrest because, well, she showed an officer, officer the cocaine. This cocaine is Another shit. Another story about an old woman, but this one reaching 95 years old, and although she was confined to a wheelchair, she still managed to keep a burglar from breaking in. It was 3 a.m. when this woman heard glass breaking in her front door, quality. so she picked up a screwdriver what and stabbed the hand kind of through drug. the window again and again Ugh. while calling for help. Police arrived and found the burglar passed out on her front porch, bleeding from multiple stab wounds. Number four. This one guy, Derek Mosley, walked into a gun store wielding a baseball bat and tried to steal a gun. Tried to steal a gun from a gun store with a baseball bat. He smashed the glass display case and attempted to take one of the firearms. Oh my but God. things didn't quite go right for him. Suffice to say, the store's owner laughed, pulled out <laughs> a gun, really? and kept Derek in his crosshairs until the police could arrive to arrest him. And then a oh, old guy called Michael Anthony and Fuller, again. who had the balls to create his own counterfeit money, didn't realize that subtlety is key when he made a visit to Walmart to cash in a million dollar bill. For his million $5 purchase, dollars. he asked for $999,000 in change to which the police were called in. They spent a good deal of time staring in disbelief at this ludicrous million dollar bill before they slapped him with an attempt to obtain goods under false pretense. Number two. A 48 year old criminal called Dennis Hawkins, who unsuccessfully tried to rob a bank on two separate occasions wearing an amazing disguise. He wore a blonde wig, fake breasts, clown pants and a goatee. Trying Where'd to pass himself off as what's, the what's the human imaginable. You got everything else right, but then you got clown pants Which reason. made him the most conspicuous man on earth. You didn't want to shave? A gas station you didn't shave? Later reported some Elise? idiot dressed like a woman had tried to steal a car and put on some makeup at least. Straight away. Number one. A 21 year old guy called Frank Singleton just released from jail. The very first thing he did after getting released. Was Singleton, the prison he just released from jail, jail, right? And oh, he was definitely woman. single in Even jail. Even though he was successful, he got in the car and realized he didn't know how to drive a manual. He was sent back to jail immediately. The police asked him why he did it. Why he couldn't even wait more than a few minutes to return to his life of crime. To which Frank replied, I didn't feel like walking. That's it for this count. Laziest motherfucker ever. Get out of jail. It's like, hmm, what should I do? I don't feel like walking. There's a bitch right there. Get out of the fucking car. Ah! Oh, fuck. I can't drive a manual. Cops are coming. Ah, fuck. These are indeed the dumbest criminals ever. There's more of them. Has anyone ever seen the TV show? Yeah, has anyone ever seen the TV show from back in the 90s, late 90s? America's Dumbest Criminals, the funniest shit you ever seen? That's on YouTube, too. Y'all you gotta check that out. I think it was like f two seasons. Yeah, you gotta check it out, because there's some hilarious shit on there. Anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.